Uh, so, Professor Scheiden, have you been um, impressed or disappointed by the way we discuss and consider Snowden now that we're a couple of years on from these revelations? Yeah, it's been two years. It's, I think, a good thing that there is a reality check, that um, we don't operate on the basis of hybris, that we see both sides of the events unfolding. There are moments when uh, the general people is really aware of all the problems involved in surveillance, and then there are terrible acts of terrorism which also make them conscious of the security challenges we face. So I think we have the potential of having a more informed debate, public debate, in matters of surveillance. What I detect and what it almost feels like is that we've arrived at a kind of grudging acceptance of the situation we're in, where we sort of accept that our data has been collected in bulk and that we, we, we probably don't have as, and we may never again have as much privacy as we'd like. Well. We, we lawyers may not see the situation that way because at least one should insist that there must be legal basis for any surveillance activities and this is one of the big flaws that we have operations that are ongoing that have been revealed, disclosed and people are now aware of them and still their, still their legal basis is not in order and their oversight is not in order. So if, the, if it becomes a debate about how to legislate and how to create proper oversight, that's already a win. Mm. And you've been working very hard on this for quite some time now, and um, you're going to continue doing so, I presume. But what does, what does winning look like for you? What, what exactly are you trying to achieve? Uh, I've been working for more than a decade in issues related to the protection of human rights while countering terror at United Nations Fora and as a scholar in academia. I was involved in a research program that focused on detection technologies in the fight against terrorism, DETECTOR, and now I'm the coordinator of a project called SURVEIL, Surveillance, Ethical Issues, Legal Limitations and Efficiency. And I think becoming more aware at the level of policy makers legislators, the media, the general population, that's already a big success so that, so that we would understand that there are concerns related to the ethics and the law of surveillance or other methods in the fight against terrorism. That's one level where I, I measure progress. The other one is that uh, I think in surveil in particular we have moved a great deal forward in trying to make the discourse more rational, that in the public debate, and unfortunately fed by the politicians often, we have the abstract metaphor of balancing. What's more important, the rights of one individual, including privacy, or security for everybody. And the balance will always be struck the same way in favor of security if the question is posed that way. But we've developed a more analytical and multidisciplinary favor actually trying to measure how to score surveillance methods as to whether they actually deliver security and at what financial cost, how to map and grade the ethical concerns that result and how to measure also the intrusion into privacy, data protection and other fundamental rights. So we've developed this three-dimensional method of measurement and then we will have a much more informed proportionality discussion. Is the benefit towards security actually great enough to justify the level of intrusion into privacy? And, and our, our answer is that uh, there is no automatic answer to that question. You can't simply say, because privacy intrusion is bigger than the benefit for security, privacy should win. But we do say that when the intrusion is bigger than the benefit, then we must go back to the drawing board. And privacy by design becomes then a crucial factor, because by introducing privacy by design features into the surveillance methods, we can both in improve the technological benefits and reduce the fundamental rights intrusion. So I think that's the way where a rational discussion on proportionality should go. 
Well, Professor Shine will hear more from you at the second of the evening. Thank you very much.